How's it going, folks? Just wanted to share with y'all a conversion I did on my kid's Razor MX500 dirt bike. Converted it to gas using uh, this 49cc two-stroke dirt bike engine and a gas tank from one of the other uh, kids' dirt bikes. All this stuff fit in pretty well. My goal for this build was to do uh, no welding at all and use parts from most of the major hardware stores and major online retailers so they'd be easy to get to. The motor is mounted using just uh, one eighth inch thick building straps that I bent to make motor, make motor mounts for. Gas tank, when you go to mount it, keep the seat and the fender bolted together, slide it up on the bike like it's supposed to be slide the gas tank in and uh, you end up having to drill a hole just a little bit further back than the original same for the one in the back and uh, i drilled and tapped those bolted it down drilled new hole holes here in the fender on both sides because there's nuts buried into the gas tank and then you can see the these are the holes that came in the gas tank mount here well, we drilled new holes here and here for the fender to mount to the gas tank there. Gas tank came with a fuel line and a fuel filter and fuel shutoff valve. I would not recommend messing with this one. It's not very reliable. Just uh, don't mess with it and it won't leak. If it does leak, take it apart, get it all set back up, and uh, just don't turn it. I wanted to uh, keep the chain on the side it was originally on. So I bought this gearbox that reverses the direction of the motor. Well, the motor spins the same direction, but uh, it reverses the direction of the drive chain. So it's got a gear reduction system in here that I think was uh, four and a half turns to one. It came with a 20 tooth sprocket. We put an 11 tooth on it and uh, this is a uh, T8F chain, T8F sprockets, 54 tooth on the back. Used the original chain tensioner. Also had to add this uh, roller and see the little bracket I made for it there that is necessary to keep the chain from loosening up too much. It works in combination with the chain tensioner. Was able to use the uh, original chain guard with just a uh, Adel clamp and uh, just a little piece of sheet metal. It's actually uh, from one of the hobby parts bins at the hardware store. Uh, made a little bracket here, bolted it to this gearbox. When you get the gearbox, you're gonna wanna take it apart, clean it out, there's gonna be some metal shavings in there, uh, seal it up with a gasket maker, and fill it up, I think with, uh, I think the website said 80 to 90 weight gear oil. Also put some uh, Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer in there. I put uh, one eighth inch thick uh, rubber under all the motor mounts here and here and here to help reduce the vibrations. This mount is necessary uh, to help stabilize the motor when you get in the gas pretty hard. The engine wants to torque real hard with this uh, smaller tooth sprocket and you can see it flex quite a bit. Just a cheap box muffler there and a couple of uh, 90 degree copper elbows to help deflect the exhaust. This part of the frame from here to here, I did uh, hammer it in with a sledgehammer to create the clearance needed for the chain. You can see it right there. Uh, these two grips, or this grip and the throttle, and the uh, kill switch came in one package. About my only gripe with the, the whole setup is this kill switch is actually made backwards. It should be labeled off here and on here, and there's absolutely no way internally to swap it up. Taken it apart and looked at it. A little digital tachometer that works off a of battery and uh, you wrap the 
one wire that comes out of it around the spark plug wire and it senses the spark and we'll display the RPMs. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, except for, I guess right here, I did have to bend down the battery tray, flatten that out to make the motor mount accessible. Hope y'all enjoyed this and uh, good luck on your build.